You know, I was going to do a video today, but there's a fire alarm going off at the dorm next door. There's F-22 is going overhead and there's fire trucks outside of the dorms. So I don't know if you guys can hear all that. So I'm just going to close my window and hope fire alarm went off. Okay, let's get to this video. What's up my soldiers, it's Wobbly on Today I'm gonna talk to you guys about prior use of drugs before joining the Air Force. Now I've had a lot of people ask me this question. Basically they say, hey, I smoked weed in the past. Uh, I was drinking a lot in the past. I had a few issues in the past dealing with drugs or act alcohol. How is that gonna affect my chances of joining the Air Force? Basically it's all narrowed down to whether you were experimenting or you were actually addicted to a drug. I'm gonna use my phone for this video because all my notes are on my phone, but basically the United States military does not condone the illegal or improper use of drugs or alcohol. So basically Basically what that means is once you join the Air Force, you can no longer be smoking weed, eating weed brownies, you know, going out smoking some crack, because I've had a couple people tell me that they smoked crack before, is that okay if I join the Air Force? I'm like, uh, probably not. So you can't smoke weed once you join the Air Force. You can't even do it if you're in a legal state. If you're in Alaska, Colorado, Washington, you still can't smoke weed. The big question though is, what if I've smoked weed in the past, if I've smoked weed before I joined the Air Force? Is my recruiter gonna ask me about that? If I tell them I smoke weed, is that gonna disqualify me? Again, it's all narrowed down to if you've been experimenting with it or if you're actually addicted to it. Now, how do they define this? How do they define, okay, you were just experimenting or if you're addicted? It's all about the circumstances. If you're out with your buddies and you smoke weed maybe like once or twice when you were in like middle school, high school, then that's probably gonna be fine. If it was like a couple years ago, you only did it like a couple times. I think it's less than 15 times. If you smoke weed less than 15 times, it's just experimental. If you were dependent on the drug, they're gonna ask you the specific question. Were you ever dependent on a drug? Had a, a drug ever put you into rehab or you had any type of serious mental or emotional uh, attachment to a drug? Um, then that's gonna lean more towards the side of addiction and that's what's gonna disqualify you. So that's the magic number. I mean, I wouldn't go into your recruiter's office but I smoke weed exactly 14 times because they're gonna know what you're up to. Just, just keep Keep that in mind for your own personal use. I'm just gonna make this blanket statement. It's illegal to lie to the government, so that way I can't get in trouble. So y'all heard it from my mouth. Don't lie to the government. I'm not getting in trouble. Y'all gonna walk up in your recruiter's office like, yeah, man, Bob Leonard said I can smoke weed. What's up, what's up, hey. Anyways, these are some of the questions you can expect to hear from your recruiter. Have you ever used drugs? The preferable answer is no. If yes, how many times? You're gonna go down that route. And so the preferable, the preferable answer is just no. If you smoke weed, just tell them how many times. Tell them it was experimental way back in the day, whatever. Unless you are actually addicted to drugs, then don't try to lie to your recruiter. I'm just saying that for my own benefit. Don't don't do that. <laughs> Anyways, have you ever been charged with or convicted of a drug or drug related offense? Have you ever been physiologically or physically dependent on any drug or alcohol? Have you ever been trafficked, sold, or traded in illegal drugs for profit? Now that's a serious one. Um, <laughs> but if you answered yes to the last two questions, you can expect to be disqualified. If you answered yes to the first two questions, um, have you ever used drugs? and uh, have you ever been charged with a drug-related offense, then you should be able to get a waiver for that. So if you're addicted, if you're trafficked, if you were traded in illegal sales and stuff like that, you're not gonna get in. And if you had just used drugs, or you have been even convicted of a drug charge, you can still get in. You'll just have to go through the whole waiver process. And if you did drugs more than 15 times and that's a disqualifier, you're gonna have to go get a waiver. Now, does this mean if you only use drugs 14 times or less, you know, you're in the clear, you're good to go, you don't have to worry about nothing. That's not really true. You still have to worry about it. You still are kind of on the line. It's still potentially disqualifying. It's just not as disqualifying as if you were actually addicted to drugs. At a minimum, you're gonna go through a urinalysis test. So all that's still in effect. So basically, you can still join the Air Force if you smoke weed in the past. It's just gonna have to go through a waiver process. I know a lot of airmen who had smoked weed in the past, but they just quit a long time ago. They got clean and now they're in the Air Force. They're just normal airmen. Other people have asked me, well, what if I have a spouse and that spouse smokes weed and we're in a legal state, he or she has, you know, the license to do it and all that. They can do it as long as it's not on base. Drugs are not allowed on base. So if you live off base with your husband or your wife, then you, he can smoke or she can smoke off base, but they can't bring that on base. But hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. This one's pretty short, only four minutes, 20 seconds long. But hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.